I've always been around music. In our household, it was always a battle for the record player. If mom had the controls, it was the Neville Brothers or Johnny Mathis. If dad had it, it was Elvis or Jazz. The really cool thing about my house growing up was that my father played the saxophone as well. I remember so many times going to sleep while my dad was practicing or playing along with CDs. Looking back, I, I realized that's really what set me off on my musical path. The title track, Soul Groove, it's one of those songs that really comes from the soul. Essentially, that song wrote itself. Joey Navarro, my co-writer and producer, and I just sat down and said, let's just, let's add something to this album that really has a lot of feeling. When we were done with that song, we both looked at each other and said, that's the song. That's the title track. This project has been so much fun because I've had the chance to record and perform with legends that I've grown up listening to. Abraham Laboriel Sr., Brandon Fields, Joey Heredia, Vale Johnson. In addition to working with those great players, the opportunity to write and record with Joey Navarro has just been an amazing experience. His style of writing is just so lyrical. It just hits the mark every time, depending on what we're going for, whether it's a funk jam, a romantic melody. I just can't imagine working with someone better and more professional and it's just, uh, it's been a real pleasure to have him in my camp. I would have to say my favorite song on the album is Miss Peaches for the simple fact that if you're in a bad mood before you listen to the song, by the time it's finished, you're going to be smiling. Can't Stop the Feeling is a song that we wrote with a certain vision in mind, that being driving up Highway 1, top down on a Sunday afternoon, wind in your hair, just looking out at the Pacific Ocean. And it came out the way we hoped it would. To this day, when I listen to that song, that's exactly what I picture. I was stuck on a deserted island and had to choose a very select few CDs to have with me for eternity. I would have to say Luther Vandross, Outkast, Grover Washington Jr., Stevie Wonder, and Tupac Shakur. What excites me the most? I would have to say with this project, seeing the reaction on the faces of people who perform live going from town to town and just connecting with the people that really appreciate our final product. There's nothing more rewarding than looking out and making eye contact with someone that is really feeling your vibe, feeling the groove. And you see that big smile on someone's face and you say, I am a lucky, lucky man.